Great. Well, uh, we are here today to welcome you to this uh, friendship group, the friendship group between Mexico and Croatia. And I'm here on behalf of the Congresswoman Nayeli Fernandez, who is the president of the friendship group. I'm part of the friendship group as well. I'm also the secretary in the Commission of uh, International Relations of this Congress. And it's gonna be an honor to be with you today. Now I will proceed with the first part of our uh, uh, reunion today. And okay, I'm gonna read something. I will, it is, it's in Spanish, but I'm, I will try to do it in English as well. And if I can, I will let the consul okay. translate it, all right? Thank you. Okay, so good morning to everyone, uh, all the different congressmen who is with us today. It's an uh, honor to receive you in this special day, in this uh, Gilberto, uh, Gilberto Bosques Valdivar uh, part of the Congress. This is the part of where the relations, external relations are made, international relations are made in, in this Congress. Um, for me, it's a pleasure to be in this uh, special delegation from the Republic of Croatia in this 65 legisl legislatura. Legislature. Le legislature. Mejor si me traduces, yo creo. ¿eh? Sí, 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 sí. Okay. Por los medios, va. Muy bien, sí. adelante. Muy bien. Bravo. Ok, es un gusto recibir al secretario de Estado de Asuntos Políticos, el señor Frano Matusic, a la directora de oficina del secretario de Estado, la señora Martina Kuzhasic, eh, al excelentísimo embajador de la República de Croacia en los Estados Unidos de América, concurrente ante México, Pierre Sumovic y Shimovic, Shimovic, y a la cónsula honoraria en México, la señora Laura Martín del Campo. ¿no? Y a la directora para América también, Andrea Antolich. Antolich. Ok. Eh, esa parte creo que se entendió muy bien. Los trabajos realizados por los grupos de amistad pueden ser resultados de gran utilidad, ya que a través de esto se fomentan y fortalecen los lazos de cooperación internacional mediante la diplomacia parlamentaria. The works, uh, can, the works by, of international relations are very important because the, you you understand, okay, perfect. If you don't understand, yeah, let me know and I'll take care. Of, thank okay. you. <laughs> Muy bien. Por otra parte, son una oportunidad para estrechar las relaciones entre naciones por la cual se debe fomentar el diálogo activo con la embajada, consulado y sus dirigentes. Las relaciones diplomáticas entre México y la República de Croacia se establecieron desde hace casi 30 años, mediante un intercambio de notas entre los representantes permanentes de ambos países en Naciones Unidas. Desde entonces, se ha tenido un importante entendimiento, okay. hemos podido dialogar y Perfecto. colaborar a través de diversos espacios multinacionales. Ambas naciones han sido promotoras de mecanismos de diálogo y concretación política mundial, lo que ha posibilitado sentar las bases hacia un mejor desarrollo de la comunidad internacional y la relación bilateral. Do you understand? Or do you want me to translate? I have the text here. Is that okay? Sí, okay. You let me know. Thank si bien es cierto, la relación diplomática entre ambas naciones es relativamente joven. Nuestros gobiernos han materializado esfuerzos diplomáticos que no han permitido tanto a México como a la República de Croacia contar con mecanismos de cooperación entre ambas naciones, con el establecido en los campos de la educación, cultura y el deporte en 2012, posibilitando construir una mejor visión del futuro. Uh -huh. okay. Nuestros países tienen similitudes y puntos de coincidencia que, que propician el diálogo y la cooperación en diversos sectores. En el sector económico, por ejemplo, ambos países cuentan con sectores manufactureros, así como importantes sectores turísticos que pueden ser explotados. También contamos con preocupaciones como lo son la emigración de jóvenes terremotos y los estragos económicos causados por la pandemia de COVID-19. En este momento, en este contexto, perdón, es importante destacar que México y la República de Croacia cuentan con una importante relación comercial en desarrollo por sus características. Tienen grandes áreas de oportunidad, las cuales requieren ser exploradas y materializadas, tales como son industrias metálicas, la industria tecnológica, maderera, agrícola y turística. En este grupo de amistad reconoce la importancia de seguir trabajando en el desarrollo de mecanismos que fortalezcan el diálogo y la cooperación con la República de Croacia. Los invito a que trabajemos en este objetivo y muchas gracias por su visita. Gracias. Ok, como siguiente punto… 
Tendremos el mensaje del señor Frano Matusic, secretario de Estado para Asuntos Políticos de la República de Croacia. If you want, if, if he don't, don't understand. Do you have it in English? Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm okay with it. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. Mr. Secretary of Foreign Relations. It is a pleasure to be here in the Congress uh, in a friendly country. First of all, I would like to say that we are here to strengthen our bilateral relations and give new impetus to our relations between two parlaments. Okay. So uh, I'm thankful to and grateful for your kind words about our cooperation, which started when Croatia proclaimed independence in the 90s. But we think that today, as European Union members, we can really improve our cooperation in many fields. We also strive to become member of OECD. You're a member of OECD uh, from 1994. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for your support. In our accession process, we hope that we will finish negotiation with the OECD very soon, in 2025, we expect that we will finish that. Uh, that is one of our priority goals of foreign policy, but I have to say that Croatia in this only 32 years of independence achieved a lot. We became member of United Nations, of course, in 1992, after proclaiming independence in January of 1992. And then, of course, we became member of Council of Europe, and then members of European Union. In 2009, we became member of NATO. And last year, we had excellent achievement because we became members of the Eurozone and Schengen area, which is excellent achievement because there are only 15 countries in the European Union, which are at the same time members of the Union, members of NATO, and members of Eurozone and Schengen zone. That means if you cooperate with Croatia, it will be much easier to reach all these markets. And Croatia today is uh, one of the biggest energy hub in the European Union. And I'm also here to speak about this uh, cooperation in energy, energy sector. Of course, tourism sector is one of the most important for, for Croatia. Uh, almost 20% of our GDP is coming for, from tourism sector. We have a shortage of workers in tourism sector. That's also theme, topic, issue, which I w wanted to discuss. We yesterday discussed this in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the Deputy Minister, Madame Jennifer Ferrer. So it, it was really success successful di discussion, and I believe that there are many common issues. So now I will tell you a few words about our cooperation. Croatia recognizes Mexico as reliable and like-minded partner, as well as an important actor in Latin America and globally. As a country committed to promoting democracy, human rights, and multilateralism, which is today even more important than it was a few years ago. High-level visits of, offer the best visibility of our friendly relations and are an additional incentive to deepen bilateral relations. We believe that the geographical distance is the reason for the modest cooperation between the friendship groups of the Croatian and Mexican parliament, but fortunately, technology can easily overcome these obstacles. In the Croatian parliament, there is a strong interest in strengthening the connection between the members of the parliamentary friendship groups of the two countries. Regular communication between the members of these groups is necessary, with special emphasis on their meetings. This can significantly contribute to the strengthening of friendly relations between Croatia and Mexico. Probably the most important next step in our bilateral relation is the establishment of resident diplomatic missions. We are happy to announce that recently we have initialized the internal procedure and we hope to open Croatian embassy in Mexico City in the near future. Important segment of our bilateral relations are also economic relations, as you mentioned. We are glad that our bilateral trade has been showing certain growth in recent years, bearing in mind that Croatia has joined a small group of only 15 countries, which I already mentioned, that simultaneously are members of the EU, NATO, Schengen, and the Eurozone. We hope to become an even more attractive destination for Mexican investments. The OECD membership remains still one of our most important foreign affairs, foreign policy goals yet to reach. In being an experienced OECD member state as of 1994, 
we were very much appreciate the position of Mexico, and we are very we are very grateful for your supports to Croatia's succession of, to the OECD, including by the merit-based accession process. Well, once again, thank you very much, and we are really grateful to you for this meeting, and I hope that uh, this will result in strengthening, uh, in, in intensifying uh, work with our friendship group in, in Croatian Parliament. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Eh, como siguiente punto. Muchas gracias a todos, uh, estimados in hospitality, and the, uh, I can say uh, I'm particularly grateful. I was here a year ago when you, my, my um, uh, deepest uh, gratitude and uh, greetings to, uh, Vice, to the President uh, Fernandez. I was here a year ago when, you, when she launched the uh, uh, Grupo Damitad. And the, uh, that was a beautiful um, event and the, uh, I would say a measure of our friendship. We think that the uh, parliamentary, parliamentary diplomacy is extremely important as to contribute to the relations between the, uh, be, between the peoples, between the peoples and because before, as we do uh, uh, between the governments. We see a lot of um, uh, proximity uh, of interests and values between uh, Mexico and Croatia, be it trade, investments, uh, uh, similar views on what's happening today in the world uh, when it comes to a lot of um, critical points. We see a necessity of working, working very closely together with our Mexican friends and we see a huge potential in all fields of science, education, tourism, exchanges, security cooperation, uh, technology cooperation. And the, um, on our side we are anxious to um, explore all avenues of deeper cooperation with Mexico. And uh, somos uh, particularmente uh, orgullosos de la nuestra comunidad mexicano-croata. Uh, our our uh, honorary consul, uh, Laura Martin del Campo Steta, is the, uh, not only our honorary consul, but also the leader of our comunidad mexicano-croata here in Mexico. We are very proud and this community acts as a bridge, very powerful bridge uh, between our two nations, our, our two countries. So thank you very much for having us and we are looking very much forward to all venues, of all, all uh, uh, aspects of cooperation with Mexico. Thank you very much again. Thank you, thank you. We welcome the President of the International Affairs Commission of the Congress, uh, Alfredo Femat, who just arrived and uh, now we're going to give him uh, the microphone to speak a little. Adelante, mi querido presidente. Pues antes que nada quisiera darles la bienvenida a nombre de la Comisión de Relaciones Exteriores, a nombre del Congreso Mexicano, decirles que deben de sentirse como en casa, están entre amigos y los amigos son como una familia y los mexicanos somos muy, pero muy amigos de Croacia. Y por eso le doy la bienvenida al señor Frano Matusi, secretario de Estado para Asuntos Políticos de la República de Croacia. Eh, un gusto que el excelentísimo Peyer Simonov, embajador de la República de Croacia, nos acompañe. Y la verdad es un gusto enorme. Y para nosotros, eh, pues agradecerle mucho al diputado José Antonio Estefan, que es el presidente del Grupo de Amistad, porque eh, la Junta de Coordinación Política desde el inicio de esta, eh, le, de esta legislatura nos dio la encomienda de formar hasta 100 grupos de amistad. Y para nosotros los grupos de amistad son fundamentales porque son el germen que permite que se profundice la diplomacia parlamentaria y que a través de los grupos de amistad entre parlamentarios se puedan armar planes de trabajo para poder profundizar la cooperación eh, y que esa cooperación es intercambio nos lleve a, a profundizar desde el poder legislativo de cada país las relaciones entre los países. Y por eso para nosotros la diplomacia parlamentaria es un vehículo, un camino 
y quisiéramos que todos los grupos de amistad lograran que a través de estos convenios de colaboración se pudieran armar planes de trabajo para que luego tuviéramos reuniones interparlamentarias permanentes, anuales. Lo hemos hecho ya con otros países, con varios países comenzamos como grupo de amistad y después los grupos de amistad generaron tanta empatía, tanta coordinación, que ahora con varios países año con año tenemos reuniones interparlamentarias bajo el método un año en México y un año en el país eh, amigo y eso nos ha llevado a profundizar pues el intercambio de jóvenes estudiantes que pueden ir a Croacia o pueden venir de Croacia a México, eso ha permitido que delegaciones de empresarios vayan a Croacia y vean oportunidades de invertir o bien vengan inversionistas de Croacia a México y eso nos permite, repito, que desde el poder legislativo se profundice esa relación de cooperación. Y por eso hoy, como presidente de la Comisión de Relaciones Exteriores, realmente le quiero dar la bienvenida a toda la delegación y decirles que estamos totalmente abiertos, abiertos para que eh, profundicemos la relación con ustedes. Para nosotros es muy importante eh, ver cómo trabajamos con Croacia y cómo Croacia puede trabajar con nosotros. Y bueno, un gusto enorme y bienvenidos a México. Muchas gracias. gracias.